your spouse's insecurities, your insecurities. Satan is trying to use insecurities to cause a helplessness, a feeling of hopelessness to arise in the relationship. Mm -mm. But after this video, that shall be no more. Welcome back to Profiting Diary. My name is Tiny. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I would love to have you here as part of the family. Everything you need to know is down in the description box. How to sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouragement call with myself. I would love to take you on as your personal life coach, as your spiritual life coach. Your life will never be the same. Seeking Ready series, August 31st. Super excited about it. Hope to see you there. Who knows if we'll have some surprise guests there. Get ready, prepare, because both eyes is on the way. Also, PD Society Circle this Sunday, we'll be talking about numerology, 777-333. All of those things, let's just get that out of the way, because what do they really, really mean to God, right? Numerology, you know, the world has taken it. Oh, angel numbers, and this means that. No, 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 no. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Sign up for the PD Society Circle this Sunday. You don't want to miss out on this one. And uh, also, keywitnesses.com, all of my activewear, my one-piece sets, my um, cute little loungewear sets are all 50% off. I'm talking about under $25, under $20. Some of them in the summer sale. Check it out, keywitnesses.com. When we talk about insecurities, um, we talk about our brother Gideon. And Gideon is minding his own business and God calls him and he's like, Gideon, I need you to go save Israel. And just like your spouse and like yourself, um, when God calls you, it's a prompting from him, right? That is usually unexpected. And I believe that when your spouse was called to this marriage, called to you, it was very unexpected, right? If we can have some grace for him. I don't think that they wake up and say, hey, God, I want this amazing woman and um, the promises of God and all of the weights and the responsibilities that come with it. Oh, man, God, just give me this woman that's prophetic. Give me this woman that is a seer or an apostle or this this amazing entrepreneur or, uh, or this, you know, <laughs> you know, this um, missionary. I doubt if that, I doubt if, um, you know, your spouse ever thought that they would meet someone like you, vice versa, right? You may feel the same, like, I, it's just too good to be true. Well, insecurities, um, especially when God calls you or when God called your spouse, it can cause a hopelessness, right? And insecurities can make you feel like you're too weak or insignificant for this relationship, right? You're just insecure. And our brother Gideon, we see Gideon when God calls him in Judges 6, 15. The Lord turned to him and said, go in the strength you have and save Israel out of the Midian's hands. Am I not sending you? But Gideon's response was very insecure. Um, he says, my clan is the weakest and I am the least in my family and I'm a slave, right? And I can only imagine when God called your spouse, right? Your spouse had dreams. Because one thing about God, he will accommodate your insecurities, especially when you're fresh and you're new or you're a babe in Christ. God will send the signs to accommodate you. But also God is just very compassionate and he's understanding that what he's asking of you or your spouse is really, really big. Um, I remember my kingdom spouse said that, you know, the Lord sent him a dream. And that's how he was able to be sure he was made sure. Um, but God will accommodate that, right? Um, Joseph, uh, you know, Mary's walking around here pregnant by the Holy Spirit. That can make a man so insecure, right? And he needed an angel to appear to him. So God will always accommodate your spouse or accommodate you. But our insecurities... Um, can really, really, and your spouse's insecurities can really cause them to run at times because it just seems too big. But one thing about God is the reason why 
he allows us to feel this fear is so that we will know that it was him that did it, right? Um, so that we will know that, listen, I'm going to get the glory out of this. That's why he never chooses the boastful or the prideful because they'll take all the glory. So God doesn't make any mistakes in his choosing, right? But also it is hard for us to imagine um, that God has given us such a marriage or such a woman or such a, a job or such a whatever. And our strength has to be found in our faith, not in our ability. And your spouse try, is trying to find strength in his, his ability. But what God is going to do is allow them to come to a place of consecration and renewal and clothe them in the spirit so that they cannot rely on their own strength. Gideon was a very strong man, but he cannot rely on his own strength in this situation. That's why I talked about turning events, right? But there is a turning point. And I also gave a video the other day, the moment of truth. It's all coming together here, family. And there's going to be a turning point where they are going to be, your spouse is going to have to be renewed and clothe itself in the spirit and surrender to what God is saying um, because they can't do it without God. And we all have insecurity and feel like I just can't do it without God, right? Um, or how am I going to get this done? But God will accommodate you with dreams and visions and signs. He'll accommodate your spouse, right? Um, and this is exciting news because they do need to surrender and we need to surrender our insecurities to God. We may not feel adequate enough, but God chose us. We may not feel qualified and, and we may feel like Gideon, like, my family is poor, I'm a slave, but God says you're significant and God chooses you to do so. Don't let Satan use circumstances or your past against you because God says, I'm getting rid of those insecurities in your spouse's life and I'm getting rid of those insecurities in you. I choose you, Gideon. I say that you can do it. Your spouse can do it. Pray for your spouse to be released from their insecurities because God is choosing them. And it's always unexpected for Gideon, so I can understand why he was fearful, but God is going to do it. I hope that this word bless your family. If you feel led to sow into a hashtag, insecurity is gone. I love you guys. This actually is part one of a part two word, so I'll see you on part two. God bless.